Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, as you may be able to tell, I'm fresh off the heels of the last episode, so... Woo. Interesting that they give us that huge area of, like, nothing space over there. Finally on the main street should be exceptionally fierce. Probably having a double advance with both tanks should probably be smart. Snipers as well. Even if you don't see anyone, you may be open to sniper. Careful where you stop. Okay. Wendy ended up helping me out last time a lot, so let's put her back in. And Rosie, of course. I don't know that we'll have tanks, but we might get another thing, so let's put one in. I equipped Maria, uh, Marina with um, an upgraded rifle. Put Homer in. Eh, then again, it might be good to just have more tanks. And then Jane's good. All right. God, like I'm literally like fresh off the heels of the last episode. Isara, we're taking back our home, East. Squad Seven, move out. <laughs> okay. Phew. Here we are. Sorry, but I'm a little scared. That's right. This is your oh, first yeah. time out in battle, isn't it? Don't worry, you have a lot less to be scared of than most people because you're sitting in you're sitting in the middle of a block of Please. steel. Combat is always a scary thing. I don't think anyone should ever forget that. I feel like getting used to the horror of war means losing hope. Yes, sir. I understand. Okay, then. Let's begin. Everybody, watch out for enemy snipers. Yeah. Especially after last time, right? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So... Elite Sniper. V2. Mash the hunter. Is that a command? Wait, shit. Why did I do that? Okay, look. I know that that was completely my fault, but... You will not be brief. <laughs> like... Oh, God damn it. Okay. I am I'm aware that that was completely my Sorry. fault, but... We're like, the, the fact that it was, there was a simple misinput and it took, Move like, out. another full minute to fix is is just one of those things where I'm like, this maybe could have, should have been fixed, you know? Because, like, the fact that I can't skip all of these, all of these, this fluff is still obnoxious. Here we go! Again, I'm aware that it is my fault completely, but... Enemy sighted. The, the fact that smallish minor mistakes that I make have have consequences that take up so much time to fix is just a little uh irritating you know okay i want to be able to shoot this thing but it doesn't look like it's going to be in the cards two down not bad at all and that's a command point way nice work. Keep so maybe so what's up here scout way ahead of you let's start moving the shamrock up found us an enemy I made the thing exactly as I had before and like actually I don't think there's any tanks on this map so maybe that was on me maybe I shouldn't maybe I should have like done this in a way that does not have does not include tanks Really, dude? You don't just want to point the part, like, that that really does good right at him? Way ahead of you. Cool. Another one down. Good. That makes things a bit easier. 
Actually, never mind. There are tanks. All troops, advance. Found us an enemy. Your current position is very dangerous. What am I saying? Yeah, there's not as many tanks as I thought, so maybe two um, tankmen's isn't as uh, important, but Here I come. should be fine. I feel like I'm starting to have issues killing guys. This is a thing that is a semi-common concept across many RPGs of many types. The hunt begins. It's easier alone. But I don't know. I feel like maybe I should not have as many problems in regards to like killing guys. I don't know. I know that the distance is a thing. I might have given her like a like a low distance rifle or something. The hunt begins. Okay. So from here, who can I see? Man, you're at a distance. Another sniper. Trooper. Cool. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Who are these guys? Don't worry, I've got a plan. The hunt begins. I've come this far alone. Interesting. Sailed over his head. That's all right. Here we go. Damage minimal. That's all right. Okay. So let's see about picking our targets then, huh? Wait, I thought this is Yos Noah the Hound. I could also smoke uh put some smoke down. Now. Let's see about it. Let's let's give it a shot. It's called the Asmo the Asara Smoke 1. Do it in memory, you know. My cats are getting into trouble back there. Okay. Already? Damage minimal. Cool. Ah! Bro, for real? My rifle. Where's I know that they're an elite and I left her out of cover, but she was behind a tank. That was the hopes, at least. Yeah, these guys are a problem. For real. Under light fire. Okay, well. This... This might be interesting. This could be an opportunity to use scouts against them. Because scouts would be able to close the distance. And because a sniper can't shoot back, it might be fine. Dang it. Our body's yours to use. This place is filthy. Oh, he's he's marking out over it being unclean because it's a bombed out village. Thanks, Homer. Our 
Enemy, enemy, enemy snipers firing from Medic. He's like I just realized what Homer reminds me of. I don't know if I brought this up in the past and forgot. But he reminds me of Tails. Just to show him I mean business. Yes, right away. This place is filthy. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Is there a place that I should can or should park him? This looks all right. Okay. I actually got both people as well, which is pretty great. You sure? They've got me pinned down. Cool. Like it, I like it. Largo needs to make the same movement. Though maybe I could leave him further up, especially if his uh, movement will only let him go this far. Okay, cool, cool. I can leave him there. Entering combat. Okay. I I usually find that these end up killing the tank's treads and not the tank. Which is kind of weird. Enemy sighted. Squad leaders, report your status. Hostile sighted. Entering combat. Oh man. Cool. That's two down. Actually, no. You're not dead. That makes things a bit easier. This is for you, East. Sibling ties. What is that? What does that mean? Oh, that's that makes me feel bad. Oh God, jeez. Okay. My turn. Okay. I think we're we might end up with a problem when it comes to um. Dealing with snipers. Though, then again, as long as at least one person is alive. Then they can pick up the dead. Cool. Love to see it. Nice work. Keep taking them down. Yeah, as long as at least one person is alive, they can keep picking up the dead. And then from that point on, oh, this doesn't count. Damn. What about over here? Enemy unit spotted. Don't even think of dodging. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. So who's that's a sniper, that's also a hmm. You're totally exposed there. Hmm. It could be trouble catching up to her on account of the fact that she's uh very far away. Hmm. Though die. she's killed a sniper, which should at least ease our ability to get at her. And we have the fucking tanks to worry about, too, lest we forget. Okay. 
I think I gave Jane an upgraded um machine gun as well. Just try to stop me. <sighs> I'm like lightheaded after the last battle. Battle. Die, die, die. This um I was kind of banking on her having more movement than this. Hmm. 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 Yeah, that could be trouble. Bad business. Reinforcements, guys. Really? I need to kill this tank, and then I need to send the Shamrock forward to let it start conquering stuff. Because the Shamrock's ability to kill enemy uh, enemy units and and or um enemy personnel and move quickly might let it get all the way up ahead to that thing. Damage that could be bad. Um, get all the way up ahead to the the enemy camp and start work on that. Oh god. Okay, that's fine. He took the hit at least. Wow. So did she. That's one less bullet for them to fire. That's a grim way to look at it, I feel. Like I'm just resting. Especially if they only loose one, uh, one shot around. Damn them. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty gruesome way to think about it, but it's a it's a it's a way to think about it. It's one way. All right. Um Let's do this thing. Let's get someone in. Let's get another scout in because um again, I I mentioned this earlier, but I really Any feel like it. having scouts is going to help. Go down. I've been okay. This is a, this is an admission, but I've been playing a lot of Civ recently, Civilization 6. I brought it up earlier in the ELP as well, only a couple episodes ago before the break even. Um And and so like Really, dude? And so I'm, I'm remembering the XP mechanics of Civilization, which involve the player getting, just dealing damage to anything. I'm on. Like, Medic. as long as you deal damage, you gain XP, I believe. Uh, they're, they're exception. Um, but like, if, if you have like a, if you have a unit that has like a bow and arrow, and, and you see, like, a tank, you'll do minimal crap chip damage to the tank, but it's still in your best interest to keep shooting at it because as long as the tank doesn't kill you, you can, um, like, get in there and... and okay, so, you know, landmines. What? What do you mean I can't climb it? What can I... I can't occupy this either. Well then. Cool. Like it. I love it. <sighs> but like, for example, if you have an underpowered unit that you haven't been using a lot of recently, and then you're like, hey, let's just ensconce him in this in this safe zone. Cool, my man. Thank you, Alicia. I almost wish that we could um, cancel our request for reinforcement back back there. Roger that. Their defenses are only gonna get tighter. Yes, sir. Well done. Things are going. 
I, I love when, when formal characters still have to, like... When, when like formal characters are, are greeted with uh, uh, somewhat informal things. Like there's this very good scene in Guilty Gear Ixard where um, Soul Bad Guy says to, I think, Elfelt. Yeah, it's Elfelt. He's like, you think you're hot shit, don't you? And she's like, yes, sir, very hot. I love that. I wish you good luck. Yes, right away. This place is filthy. This could be trouble. Although perhaps Thank you. they would they would lighten up and give me a a level that was a little simpler, you know, a little easier, maybe. Hopefully. Please. If that's at all possible. Oh, I, I maybe should have could have used him to repair the sandbags that I plowed through as the tank. Used Homer's turn to do that. Okay. Pile that on. Your current position is very dangerous. Is anyone back at this camp? No, but someone's about to be. Been waiting here. Oh, cool. Let me help. Done. Edelweiss is helping out. You love to see it. All right, now let's park you somewhere safe. Yeah, okay. The tank's not going to shoot at him while there's a big, juicy tank target right there. Okay. It's going well, it's going well, it's going well, it's going well. Okay. Damage minimal. Mm. What is that? Like 550, 600? You know, I just realized there there is no reason that that tank shouldn't have killed me. You know? I, I parked this tank here, and I don't have the means to get it out or get it to safety. The tank should have killed me. But, like, this game is nice to me. This game is very nice to me, and it's a little easy. So they won't kill me. And and it just occurred to me that, like, I, I have been, I have been, um... How do, we, how do I put this? Spoiled, maybe? About how this game has been very nice to me. Despite the fact that I... Have have just been you know. Who now? Oh, the cannon is shooting me. Cool. Next partner. Thank you, Frisia. Yeah, right, let's have her try to remain safe here. Yeah. But yeah, I just, I, that just occurred to me. Like, this game is very, very nice to me. Maybe a little too nice. You know, maybe it's even too easy. Okay. I know that Homer has a big move, so I can probably use at least my whole movement and get all the way up here. Especially because Homer will also be able to use me as cover. Use the Edelweiss as cover. Uh, I should say. Fix this up. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, what if I left a unit out of cover, right in the face of an enemy? <laughs> in, like, XCOM or something. Like, out of cover, in the face of an enemy in direct danger with low health in XCOM 
it, like, I would die, I would get my unit killed, and it would be totally my fault. And, like, I shouldn't be mad about it, because it would be completely my fault. Of course it would be my fault. But I'm just thinking, like, this game does kind of baby you a little bit. I haven't even thought about it up until this point, because, like, you know what, God damn it, I've played a lot of hard games in my time. I maybe even deserve some easier nice games. Am I going to be able to get in there with a shamrock? I think so. Leave it to me. Let's do it. I want to see you prove yourself. I want to use you to do some good damage. Damage minimal. Okay. Fire. Awesome. Just what I wanted. Look at that. Triple kill. Easy triple kill. And now I have run aground. Okay. So what else is up here? There's another tank up there. Enemy Lancer. But now that that area is all clear, I might be able to start clearing them out. Like with this. Then again. Oop, that's a landmine. Hmm. Hmm. This proves the hunt begins. This has some difficulty. I've come this far alone. Or the highway. Okay. I've cut through half of his health now. Hmm. Maybe I should have Homer. I'll have him heal the Edelweiss again, and then I'll have him... Yeah, because this only does 1,000. Thank you. But now I'm at full. And then I can have him hunker down behind the shamrock. And I don't actually need him to heal the shamrock yet, because the shamrock is closer to full. Um, Alicia would get borne down by the trooper. Let's do this thing. Yeah, the trooper's not dead yet, but I could... If the trooper was dead, I could use Alicia to kill the sniper or kill the, um... Kill the sniper or kill the... Oh, that could be trouble. Here I come. Yeah, I forgot that they would, uh, see her there. Well... Maybe I can... Okay, maybe if I can take down the trooper with a tank... I can have the scouts roll in. Oh, right. Yeah, they're not even using all of them. Damage minimal. Yowza. No. That ain't good. Sorry. I've got to bail out. Are we going to rebuild that thing or Zaka's retreated yeah it looks like he just dies like the the cannon characters die haha -ha! look at that now he's only got one left in the chamber but there's also someone else on this roof you're in danger now because Zaka's dead oh I, uh... Yeah, that was something I hadn't foreseen. One less bullet. Underminer fire. Okay. So... Plan, plan, plan. 
We need the Edelweiss to kill the trooper. And then Alicia and Frisia might be able to... Wow. But Mash is empty now. Mash only has one left. That's my girl. That's okay. We... Actually, is it okay? We can get a fresh engineer, but that'll take another round to, to go through. But if we can kill the Lancer... Hmm. It's problematic. Entering combat. Okay, at the very least, we need to use the Edelweiss and kill this... Chucklehead here. Now I have much less of a problem getting in. And they also lose a command point, so that's good too. Who are these guys? I am willing to step on these mines. Minor damage sustained. I do this on purpose because I love it. Another one down. But she's dry. She's also not in cover. And she can't get any more cover. So that could be a problem. Um... This? We might be able to just pick our targets with her. Ooh, this is stressful, but this is a, this is a pretty good this is a pretty good mission. I don't feel like super in danger. Let's back up and use this, huh? She growl at him. That's cute. <laughs> Sucker. Okay, second scout on the grassy knoll coming in. It might not be a problem to kill the Lancer. Nope. Sorry, I was hitting the button in order to try and make her stand. Man, now that we got two tanks, taking back this place is a cinch. Let's split the distance between them. Or split the difference, rather. Nice. Clear the body, just in case it drops any loot. Okay. Rosie is very far back. I kind of counted unlikely that she would catch up. But it would be fastest to use her to kill... Hmm. Hmm, yeah, I think I need to... I, I think I need to burn uh, uh, turns until Rosie can get up here. Hmm. How many do I have? Okay, I have four. Good. I wanted at least four. Oh, and this also has Alicia coming. Ah, <laughs> uh, clean, and that leaves me with three to spare. Yeah. All right. Cool. 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 Love to see it. You love to see it. Sir, we've done it. We've occupied the enemy's primary base. Great. 
That's excellent. Chris, I'm proud of you. I I don't know if I like Chris is of course a very generic and boring name. I don't even know if the Germanic variation crease is real, but it sounds like crease, like you have a crease in your pants or you crease this paper, and it also rhymes with grease. Sir, I still can't hold a candle to his Sara, but I did what I could. Is this gonna be his arc where like he can't he, he can't fathom himself as being as good as somebody else? It's ours, Ys. Home is finally home again. I guess we won't scatter her ashes because she got a proper burial on the graveyard. And your Edelweiss is alive and well and in good hands. You can rest easy. Welcome, turn off your radio, please. We can all hear you. Okay. Goddamn. C rank, though. And hey, yeah, he did drop the weapon. Good. Enhanced block. Pa We're getting tank drops off of these guys? And a medal. So I noticed that it was signed Eleanor Verrat. So maybe it's a thing where like, if Verrat signs it, then it's not. Then it's then it's just a generic uh, medal. But if it's signed by the Princess Cordelia, then it's like a specific special medal. Maybe that's how it works. Well, that's it, Welkin. No sign of the enemy here either. I searched all over. Looks like they've cleared out of Brule. I imagine that they would take their That's precautions good. with trying to ensure finally recovered possession the area is clear of enemies state. before they relax. Yeah. But if Isara saw Especially it after last time. I think she'd feel sad. I mean, look at it. Empty of all the people who lived here, the mill just barely standing. Look at that. Welkin? What is it? What do you see? <laughs> Look. A lion's paw. Uh, is it the same one? Mm hmm. It's the flower that you planted that day when we'd first met each other. <laughs> it took root and grew in this soil. Wow. Now it's flourishing. Mm hmm. That's um you said that there's more going on in this world than just people killing people. Holy shit, new guys, this game is so around, good. New things being born even in the middle of war. Hey, is that baby ever going to do his part in fighting this war? And if I let myself get depressed, well, Isara wouldn't want that. Once this war's over and we come home, we'll just have to rebuild it. We'll rebuild all of it. Every last building. Yes, we will. And we'll show Martha's little boy. We'll show him the town where he was born. I showed my wife the shot of Wilkin being like, look, that's your hometown to a fucking burning rubble pile. <laughs> and she also burst out laughing. Now, granted, she watched it in a vacuum because she hasn't seen the other episodes of this. Um, Finals week, am I right? And by finals week, I mean like finals month. But... <laughs> Um, like, I watched that not in a vacuum. I watched that in the intended order by doing everything prior to it. And like, holy shit, that episode is way too, that, that, that idea, that shot is way too funny. Just like, look, it's your home. Just... <laughs> the liberation of Brule was a success. Excellent work, soldiers. Hell yeah. Lieutenant Gunther, do you have anything further to report? Yes, Captain. Through this op, I... We've found a new goal to strive towards. Plant a whole bunch of flowers. Very good. You know they actually make um, shotgun pellets, or uh, shotgun Getting shells, where they contain a whole bunch of, like, seed? So if you shoot something and then... Like, if you shoot something, then presumably the remnants of the shot will germinate. Yes, Captain. I'm ready. Are you gonna Are you gonna turn heel? Good. Like he's we're so handsome that that typically means that he's lines. like a good guy. But he's 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 he's. I don't know. I I worry about him turning heel and being evil. Imperial forces previously posted all over the country are gathering at one point. Mm hmm. The Nagyar Plain in northeastern Galia. 
our forces are being directed there as well. Yeah, I maybe they over I wonder I wonder exactly how. Like I know that we must have at least some sort of an advantage over them because we have home court advantage and we have possibly more Ragnite. Like the way that they tell it, I feel like there's more Ragnite in Gallia than there is than in the rest of Europa. And I don't know if that's actually the case, but um like you know what? Maybe I've never seen an enemy soldier heal now that I've thought about it. I've I I have only once seen them use engineers and I've never seen an enemy soldier pull out the little health kicks that we use, the little the little Ragnite bottles. So maybe the lack of Ragnite and the emphasis on weaponry means that their guys just keep dying. Like they get shot and they have their regeneration that you have in game, and that's it. They can't heal any more than that. Maybe they have mundane med uh, med pit med kits, but that would be cool. That'd be like a cool justification. Like, like we get shot, we're injured, but we pop out the ragnite and and we patch the wound, and then we're back in a week. They get shot and they it gets infected or they die or they're up for six months or. They have a wound that never heals properly, and like that's interesting. Does that mean we're expecting a major clash at Nagiar, Captain? So, I kind of I was thinking that they were gonna have Bless and Jaeger team up against us, and I'm holding out hope for this. I don't really predict this, but I'm holding out hope that General Jaeger might turn heel. It's very probable. in the name of of this battle is going I was to just doing this for my country anyway. But if I fight for you guys, then I can maintain my country's neutrality in the same way you maintain yours. After a brief rest, the militia move out to Nagyar. I want all of you rested in the meantime. You're dismissed. <sighs> uh. All right, let's watch this and cut the episode. So what you're saying is, the next battle is so critical, it could actually determine how the rest of the war goes. I hope yeah. we win. Both for us and them. The opposing armies are assembling their forces at Nagiar. It'll be the biggest battle we've fought yet. The biggest battle of the war. That means more things we love will be destroyed. More people we care about will be taken away. Only if they get shot there in a cutscene. some things we lose that never get returned. That's the world. Everything around us is in flux. The old Brule, the town we used to know, Isara. We've lost them forever. Welkin. But it's like you said, Alicia. We build new things as we lose the old. If we can win this battle at Nagiar, we can push the Empire all the way back to Northeast Gallia. If that happens, then victory will be right around the corner. <sighs> And once the war's over, the real work will start. Hmm. We'll build a new mill plaza. In fact, we'll build a whole new town. Right. And I'll be there to help you. You know, it's funny. Whenever I talk to you, I feel like everything's going to be fine. Yeah? Well, you're the only reason I haven't completely lost it, Alicia. Really? Thank you, Welkin. Me too. I'm glad we were able to meet and work together. See, ordinarily, I would yell at them to kiss each other, but I imagine hey, that Kreese must be okay. inside that tank right now, right? What is it? Once this war is all over, I have... There's something I want to tell you. No, don't wait, though. I don't know. I'm a believer that like, oh, that's nice. I'm a believer that like, no, don't wait though. Cause like, look, if you give someone hope that they could have a happy life after the war and then you get shot and you die and stuff like that. Look, obviously that sucks, but I would rather know, you know, 
I think it's a Shakespeare quote. Better to have loved than lost. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Look at 4B. Alicia's literally in crosshairs. I hate that. I hate that. Oh, God. You're stressing me out, Dr. <laughs> Chronicles. Oh, Jesus Christ. Help me. All right. That's a good, that's a good recording session. Um, I've been Alfred. This has been fucking Valkyria Chronicles. Holy jeez. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.